Hello everyone, how you guys doing? My name is Brennan Taylor, thank you for coming back to my channel. Today we are still in San Francisco and we're mixing things up a bit. We're going to the best reviewed restaurant in all of San Fran. This restaurant was rated number one on every single website. That's TripAdvisor, that's Yelp, that's Google reviews. On every single one it has five stars with thousands and thousands of reviews. So this restaurant is called Soto Mare Oysteria and Seafood Restaurant. As you guys know we're in the bay so we gotta have some fresh seafood. So welcome back to a brand new episode of my fortunate life choice. Is. Starring yours truly, Brendan Taylor, and Jake behind the camera. So today we're gonna get right into these reviews. We're gonna go try this place out. With no further ado, let's check out these reviews, shall we? Excellent place for your seafood desires. Be sure to make a reservation because it is definitely a hot spot. Keep in mind, we came here 25 minutes ago to put our name in, and we're still waiting. Yeah. I got the buzzer and everything. We also ordered the best damn crab chipino to share, and it was also fantastic. The crab was my absolute favorite part of the entire meal. Next time I come here, I'll have to order the whole crab for himself. I, I, I scrolled through this real quick, and I saw a lot of people talking about this crab chipino. So we usually just order one entree each. We I gotta order like, like three. Six. Or <laughs> oh, okay, let's do it. But look at these photos. Look how beautiful. Oh my god. Like I'm god. starving right now. This definitely isn't gonna be a good idea going into this restaurant as hungry as we but are. We do this every single time. It's just like I don't know. I can't. This is the best review, not the worst. Exactly. You know? Busy and fun place to grab some seafood and pasta. Feels like I'm back on the coast of Italy. Wow. They really brought an Italian feel straight to San Francisco. And I, mean, I vibe they, with that. Yeah. And if you notice on this street, there's actually another Italian restaurant right next to it. Two of them. There's two and pizza there's places. there's Sicilian. There's a lot of Italian restaurants on this street. If we're so in I'm Little thinking, Italy. That's where we might be. Hmm. I know people come here for the Chipino, but don't sleep on the seafood linguine with pink sauce. The seafood is so fresh. The noodles are cooked al dente. The pink sauce is a savory mix of slightly rich, slightly tart, and 100% delicious. Damn, I think there's some food reviewers actually coming here and reviewing all these because yeah, their you know way of explaining. Means? I don't, but it sounds good. No, I'm pretty sure it's well done or, or not cooked enough, so it's a little crunchy. It's one of the two. Al dente. Co to be firm to the bite. If that's how it's good, that's how it's served, then that's how we should eat it, you okay. know what I mean? Keep in mind, all these reviews are within the last 12 days that I've Ooh. read so far. Like, everyone comes here and constantly leaves reviews. It has over 3,000 reviews. I you want local, you want Chipino, you want Italian, say no more. You found the right place. Come a little early because it's gonna be packed, baby. With that being said, my buzzer is going off, so let's go get our meal, let's come on. Let's do it. Got a prime seat at a prime location. Had to actually put a reservation in three years in advance, believe it or not. So we got a pretty crazy setup going right now. We're literally in the middle of a restaurant, a five-star restaurant with this crazy setup, but hey, no one said anything, so we're just gonna do us, and we're gonna try this. So first thing first, got some bread. Straight to the table. I don't usually eat the bread, but you know what? We're here, don't we're living. Don't lie to the viewers, we eat everything. <laughs> we had a blueberry muffin an hour ago from Starbucks. <laughs> we, we didn't want to come into it too hungry, you know? All right, I'm gonna give a quick little taste test. It's just bread, it can't be that good, you know what I mean? It's gonna be amazing. Just a little bit of butter. Two shots of vodka. Sourdough. It's just not right. First things first, let's check out this menu. We do have a lot of different choices, and I'm pretty excited about it. I think we should definitely get some oysters. We got to get some fresh seafood so that we can really taste the fresh. I think what we should also do from now on is we're very opinionated. We like certain things. We should do like one from each section. Yeah, like salad section, soup section, pasta, shellfish. Like get out of our normal item. comfort zone and like really try food. Because if we try one from each item, then like we're getting a whole like idea of what the whole restaurant is about, you know what I mean? Yes, definitely. We have, oh, yeah, we have. Right. We have, we got a drink. Yeah, we haven't gotten food. Yeah, we don't even know what we want to order. Oh, yet. yeah, you're right. <laughs> definitely have to try the best damn crab chipino. The price is crazy, but it's enough for two. So if you really think about it, Splitting it and having it would be twenty-two dollars a person, so it's not that bad. You know what I mean? Didn't that person say in the Yelp that they should have ordered it for themselves? They did say that, but we're also ordering one of basically everything on the menu. So. I understand that, but if it's as best damn good as it says, I'm gonna want two. Oh, you're gonna deal with one because it's forty-four dollars. Yeah. <laughs> so what should we try? Um, well, our signature dish is the crab chicken. Yes, okay. we're definitely gonna get that. Okay. But we want to like try a bunch of different stuff. Like, okay, the chipino is a pretty good size. Got it. Um, you guys like something a little spicy? The crab diablo is great. It's a half or a whole Dungeness crab, oh. sautéed in butter, garlic, green onions, and red pepper flakes. Is, is the crab deshelled already? 
It's in the show. Oh, it is. It's cracked, but it's Got in the it. show. Okay. Yeah. Let's get, so let's get one of each of these and then one of each of those. Okay. Yeah, sorry. We definitely want to get the best damn crab chipono, chipino, the linguine with the pink sauce. And then I think we should be good with that, right? Yeah, Andrew? that's a lot. That's a lot of food. And that's already like the whole menu. I mean, like we got one of everything. We're good. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. She Follow thinks we're crazy. She thinks we're crazy for sure. We're like, doing this right We today. just ordered definitely about $200 worth of food, but look it, we're doing it for the videos now. Like, I literally got us a trip out to San Fran so that we can hit the best and the worst, and that's what our goal is for this new series that we're starting. We want to hit the best and worst of each state. But yes, San Francisco is another city in California, but you know, California is our state, and we want to start in our state. After this, we're going to be moving on to different states and hitting the best and worst of each state. <laughs> Before we indulge on these oysters, just want to say we have brand new merch out. This is one of the pieces right here. We also have another one right here, green with the pink logo. We also have these. I'm kidding. <laughs> Not yet. Soon. Pick up some merch, BrendanTaylor.com. Get it while it's hot. Get it while it's new. This is brand new. Just dropped yesterday. So pick some up. Link below. Okay. Now back to the food, all right? So we got a beautiful assortment of oysters here. We got East Coast oysters and we got West Coast oysters. She said with the East Coast, they're, uh, they're a little bit more creamy and the West Coast are a little bit more salty. salty yeah. So we got one of each. We got a shooter and we got an actual oyster itself. So we're going to have one of each and we're going to try well, Let's them. talk about what the shooter is. There's alcohol in yes. the shooter. She said there's a little bit of alcohol. So not only are you going to get the little like creamy, boogery, <laughs> slimy feel, but it's you're gummy, also going to get a little slimy. bit of alcohol in there as well. So... Let's with start tomato with, juice. Let's start with the lemon. shooters, yeah? Cheers. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay, so I've had a lot of oysters in my day, and I never really liked them. Like, I, for Me some either. reason, never really like oysters. They're too slimy, too gross. This one, so I think it might be the freshness of the oyster. Went down so easily. I even kept it in my mouth for a little bit. I didn't really the feel the texture. Thing, the biggest thing is that I always taste like sand when I yes. eat them. And that's just like low quality, like they don't clean them good. Like that was so that good, was it went smooth. Yeah, you it, just it. it. Well, now we're not filming because you just interrupted it. <laughs> that's okay. Good welcome. I'm Richie. <laughs> I I this little oh, okay. We got the owner now. Owner interrupting our video. <laughs> this is the owner of the establishment. At first, you know, like, he just interrupted. I was like, come on, man. But <laughs> yeah, it's, it's the owner of the place, so I guess you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm supposed to be able to interrupt. Yeah, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> so I can welcome everybody. Thanks, yes. Thanks for being here. Of course. And oh, I, go, cool. I go to the best reviewed places in each city and the worst reviewed. And this is the worst one. I'm this kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, right. We're not changing anything. <laughs> no, we saw your incredible that reviews that you guys have like 3,000 five star it's reviews. Crazy, huh? How did that start? Tell us. Uh, you know, I, you know, we, we we've been here. We just celebrated 12 years, and my wife are the only uh, North Beach natives that own a restaurant in North Beach. And I've been in this business all my life. She retired to join me here. And we created this place. Nobody in San Francisco made had a place like this. Basically a seafood osteria like they have on the Adriatic shores of Italy. And the Chipino recipes, my grandmother's, the Bacala's, her mother's, and it's pretty much the way they do things on the Adriatic shores. There, it's literally from the boat to the shore to the pan to the plate. But here we don't use a deep fryer. We don't have a steam table, we don't use an oven. Everything's on a steel grill or sauteed to order. Oh, so and so we can get everything fresh. fresh today, just like your oysters. Yeah, yeah we, we come in today, them. we serve them today, we don't serve them tomorrow. Oh, wow. So what happens with all the stuff that's not eaten? Like the oysters, the guys at the end of the night eat well. Ah, <laughs> so working here would be a good thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. See, look at the best ever. <laughs> Well, I got a sign there that says never trust a skinny chef. <laughs> That's, That's true. That That's is definitely very true. true. All right, well, what a little surprise that was. I honestly thought it was just a random dude. Yeah, you're like, I'm gonna knock you out. I'm like, bro, like, come on, you can film me. But turns out it's the owner, so hey. That's why you gotta always be nice to people. Like, I said it in a nice way. Like, and man, we get some nice bibs. <laughs> Talk about some free promotion right here. <laughs> <laughs> So you're gonna go with the best damn chip chipino. I'm gonna go spaghetti linguine with pink sauce. Let's get these taste tests going. You go first. You go first. Get us, I'm gonna make sure I get a shrimp in there. There's literally juices that squirt out of the shrimp. Perfect firmness. It is like a solid shrimp. The sauce is creamier than ever. The noodles cook to perfection. 
everything just slides in your mouth like a perfect roller coaster, <laughs> an emotional roller coaster in my mouth with taste buds. The craziest thing I've ever tasted. Wow. All I heard was roller coaster because I'm fascinated by my own. There's bowl. literally diff there's octopus in here. There's shrimp. There's a this is a whole seafood linguine. Different types of seafood inside here. There's calamari. There's absolutely everything. Squid I see in here. Oysters. Amazing. And you have basically the same thing. I have here. the same thing, but in a soup version. And different pasta noodles. And different pasta noodles. It really has everything. It has little shrimps, big shrimps, squid, octopus, mussels, clams, lobster. It has everything. <laughs> Let's go for it. I don't even know what I should try first. Good thing we had that bib because that just squirted on your shirt. <laughs> Remember when we went to France and we ate all day and didn't feel like we were getting get fat from it? That's how these meals feel. That's how fresh and no preservatives and everything just like this taste. I've noticed that same thing. The noodles are so fresh and so like not Californiaized. They did not like, buy these. They made them. Fresh. They had to have made these noodles. The noodles are cooked to absolute perfection. As you can see, this might squirt a little, so be careful. It's all like a saucy soup that this is all sitting in. It's so good. It really is. So the seafood linguine to die for. I'm gonna move on to this other right here. What is this? This is the crab ne nevolo, right? Just look at the aesthetic of this. Look how beautiful it is. It's probably got a white sauce on there. There's crab legs in there. I'm gonna just kind of scoop a big portion of this into my, yeah, that's the one thing I dislike about crab. Like, I love crab. I just ha hate having to actually, like, de-shell it. It's one of the worst things ever. And I know I sound so privileged right now, you know, but it's a pain. Like, you'll be your fingers dirty. Whatever. See how spicy this really is. The initial noodles themselves don't have a lot of flavor. I was hoping that there was gonna be like a nice sauce on the on the noodles, but the more I taste it, the more I know that it was just cooked in some kind of oil. Uh -huh. That's all it was. The crab, on the other hand, has a ton of flavor. The okay. crab itself, I can taste every bit of that crab. I can taste the sweet, awesome, amazing texture of it. But the noodles are the only thing I'm a little bit disappointed in. I wish they were cooked in like a creamy type sauce. I feel like that would add to it. And chili flakes, amazing. But I'm not gonna complain. It just is a little plain to me. It's all right. That's what I'm saying. I don't even taste spice. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's not, it wasn't, it's all right. Then again, we, when we did go off the reviews, the Crab Diablo was not on, I didn't see it at all. You didn't yeah. like it? Oh, there's a lot of oh, crab, crab shell. shells. Yeah, see, that's the one pain, you know? You have to dig through these crabs. Like, there's literally chunks of crab, like, actual shell mixed in with the meat. So it's like, yeah, it's, really it's, hard. it's more of like a, an adventure type of eating, you know? Like, you really have to dig in there and choose the parts that you want to eat and the parts that you feel comfortable eating. So which one's your favorite? There's something about spaghetti noodles that I just love. You know, I love having the noodles and slurping them up and like, like a little snake going in my throat. That sounded really weird. Um, but I really like that, but I love the sauce. Mm -hmm. If we put this inside of that sauce, I think that's really what would make it. Make it. So we have so much food left. I think it's time to make some more room. So what, what time is it? It's bathroom review time. All right, let's go. Should I, should I walk in with this? Should I do uh, it with this sauce? Probably not. Yeah, it's I don't want to get too much free promo, you know? <laughs> Jake's bathroom review in San Francisco. All right, first off, I feel like I'm in a boat when I'm in this bathroom. Like, could I be wrong? I, I don't know. I mean, like, it just feels like I'm inside of a boat. So here we go. We got two sinks, basic stuff. We got one little urinal, but it's black. It matches. So if you're like an aesthetic type of person, you got, let's see if the toilet's black though. Is the toilet's black? It's a real good time. <laughs> black yo you, you can't even see this water it's so black kind of cool let's see how the flesh works wow I don't think you'd clog anything in that toilet and this one to be completely honest they did a very good job they even got a black trash can right here black trash can here just to go with the whole aesthetic of being different. You know, like everyone has a white toilet. They got black toilets, they got black urinals. 
Go you guys. When I looked at those prices, like $45 seems like a lot, but in LA, this would probably be like way more money. Well, it's it's a lot of food. That's the thing. Like, it's a lot of money, but it's also a lot of food. Like, this is all, they're for sharing. You know what I mean? None of this is for yourself. Like if I ordered that all myself, I would be so full. I feel so bloated after. So this is our third best reviewed restaurant that we've done. Out of those three, which is your favorite so far? Because we should keep a tally as it goes on. We should keep raising the limit. Right. I definitely think they were all very different. That's the thing. Like, you know, we had Mediterranean falafels in LA, and then I had, uh, we had Vietnamese food in Vietnam. In Vietnam, we had a solid 100 out of 100. You know what I mean? We had a solid A plus. Everything they Even gave the us. dessert was absolutely delicious, oh, I, and the fact that they cooked it in front of us, I'm gonna side with Vietnam so far with having the best five star. Out of all the five stars we've done so far, it's good. What, what is, is that? All this out of a moist clam. Looks like mud. It looks like it was in the ocean. This just came all out of a out of a clam. Give me the give me that bowl. Grab the bowl. Grab the bowl so I can see that all that shit that came out of it. Look at that, that oyster. So I opened this up and this all that came out. It looks like straight dirt. Oh, it's sand. sand. No way. So that kind of just it's contaminated your whole meal. Pretty much. Should we say something? No, kind of just is what it is. So, like. as you know, with the freshness of the food, sometimes things go wrong, and this clam had straight sand inside of it. I probably shouldn't have like fried it open. Oh, well, they served it to you. Like, what are you supposed to do? Yeah, yeah? but sometimes they don't open. And well, then they should have picked it out in the back there, you know. So, with with there being fresh food, you know, sometimes there is little issues like this, and. I don't know, you know, if you want to say something, you can, but they have been really nice. But you got to be careful now, you're going to eat straight sand down there, you know? Like, you kind of contaminated your whole meal by opening that one up, so. Like, this is really good, but it's just like, would you come back? Uh, I would come back if I'm in the area, but I don't know if I would travel 45 minutes just out of the way to come here, you know what See, I mean? Yeah, I wouldn't. The hassle of the shells and stuff, really determined. I would Postmate it. I would order it on Postmates, maybe this, this spaghetti. It would get there cold, but then I would just eat it up, you know? So the bill is here. This is like the one part of the video that I dislike. The drum roll, please. And the total is boom. Ooh, 137. It would have been 156, and they gave it to us for 137. So they did indeed hook us up. 20 bucks off, you know. 20 bucks here is 20 bucks there. You know what I mean? 20 bucks extra in my pocket to spare. I boom. It. Alrighty. So that was it. That was a delicious five-star meal. And I am so grateful that I was able to enjoy that and show you guys the best restaurant in San Francisco. So if you enjoyed this video, please smash the thumbs up yeah. button. As always, join the Taylor family by hitting the subscribe button, turning on post notifications so you never miss a post. Pick up some brand new merch, brennantaylor.com. This sh is hot. This sh is fire. And I'm gonna have to bleep both those S words that I said, cause you know what, I'm a clean channel now. But until next time, we will see you guys later. Get ready for some more crazy San Francisco videos. And until next time, I'm out, peace. <laughs> Make sure you guys check out yesterday's video and also make sure you hit that subscribe button right now and turn on post notifications so you never miss a post. Follow me on my other social medias and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.